नहीं मतलब उसका अपना कोई केस नहीं है मगर जैसे विकलांग लोगों की संस्था या कोई एनजीओ या डीपीओ जैसे हम कहते हैं वो एक पेटिशनर बनकर कोर्ट जा सकता है और कोर्ट से रिट के थ्रू पीआईएल की रिट के थ्रू कोई कानून को बेहतर करने के लिए या अमेंड करने के लिए या कुछ कुछ अगर गलत हो रहा है उसे ठीक करने के लिए केस फाइल कर सकता है उसमें बहुत जल्दी रेमेडी मिलती है जैसे एक केस आपने भी सुप्रीम कोर्ट में फाइल किया था हाई कोर्ट हाई कोर्ट में दिल्ली हाई कोर्ट में फाइल किया था एडवर्टीजमेंट निकला था फोर्टी थ्री पोस्ट फोर्टी थ्री पोस्ट का वो एडवर्टीजमेंट निकला था और उन्होंने उसमें वो डिसेबिलिटी कैटेगरीज एडवर्टाइज नहीं की थी जो उनकी लिस्ट में थी तो उसके खिलाफ पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट फाइल किया तो तीन दिन के अंदर हमको वो रेमेडी मिली और सुप्रीम कोर्ट में भी आप इसी के थ्रू जा सकते हैं आर्टिकल वन थर्टी सिक्स में In employment, uh, a recent judgment in March was quite uh, well received by the disability community. It involved uh, the largest uh, public sector employer, which is the railways. Uh, the case was filed uh, as a PIL in 2005 by the All India Federation for the Blind, and this is one disabled person organisation that is very, very active in legal advocacy uh, and takes up issues on their own uh, with great enthusiasm. And I really would. Uh, Love to see that more disabled persons organisations all over India uh, are equally active in terms of uh, the legal advocacy route. Uh, in any case, uh, one of the unique things in this uh, particular petition, uh, the railways were not implementing 3% reservation. That's a huge uh, employment force. Right before the Delhi High Court, they were directed to calculate their backlog going back to 1996. Uh, and the court, in fact, uh, appointed a registrar of the High Court on a special basis to oversee the process of calculating the backlog to make sure that the railway did not fudge their numbers. Um, and the backlog came out to 4,100 uh, posts for disabled persons in Group A and C and D. And uh, the railways were so unhappy with this outcome that they actually changed their lawyer. Um, And that lawyer, since then, has not talked to me very much in the High Court, unfortunately. Uh, not that anything uh, different happened with the successive lawyer, because after the court directed the railways to conduct a special recruitment drive for 4,100 persons with disabilities, uh, the railways then took a new uh, excuse or approach, which was that there were many technical and engineering jobs which they could not fill with persons with disabilities uh, because of issues of safety. Railways uh, running trains on tracks and so on, and uh, we oppose that that move because many of the jobs that were in the backlog were in fact of technical and engineering jobs, and it turns out that the very same uh, central government uh, list of jobs identified as suitable for persons with disabilities includes technical and engineering jobs, and we showed that list to the government uh, to the court, uh, and just a secret came out of the lovely and detailed judgment just last March. Uh, Directing the railways to fulfil within six months the entire backlog uh, of posts and include persons with disabilities in the technical and en engineering posts as well. I just mentioned the, the next case, uh, the All India Confederation of the Blind versus the Delhi Subordinate Services Selection Board, um, and uh, I think what helps when we take these cases to the courts, the court gets aware and even. Educated on what the provisions of disability law are, so the very same bench that took the railways case, then also took this case. And and whereas in the railways case, we have to really communicate to the court why the Ministry of Social Justice list of identified jobs is so important. That when there is a job that appears in that list, and that list is very good, it's very exhaustive. It covers almost all the posts. There's more than 2,000 posts, and they exclude very few posts actually. Um, And this has been communicated to the court, and the court has understood the argument that no employer on his own can can deviate from that list. They must follow that list, and therefore, in the following case, when we filed the case, within three days we got relief. I think we finished the other two also. One, because there are two more. There is one more. In, uh, one of the cases that uh, had a really made a uh, big impact, uh, which HRN has done. Uh, 
at least that's a Mahaprabha organization case, uh, of the teaching positions in the Delhi University. There are more than 80 colleges in Delhi University, and there is, I would say, maybe more than thousands of, of teaching posts there, but they were not fulfilling their 3% mandate in the teaching jobs. And, and Justice T.S. Thakur, who is now on the Supreme Court, actually stayed all recruitment to all colleges for all categories until the, each college completed their uh, disability backlog. It was a fantastic judgment. And in fact, uh, regular recruitment was stayed in all the colleges for two or three years. That case is still going on. And much credit to HRL uh, for having taken on that case and got that result. Uh, we decided to follow in their steps uh, and file a case in the Delhi High Court for non-teaching posts as well. Uh, and one of the unique things about this case was that the uh, Delhi University first came out and, and, and understated what their, what their backlog commitment was from 1996. Uh, we then insisted that the university be asked to prepare a reservation roster and submit it to the court. Because the reservation roster is the ultimate vehicle for deciding what the reservation ought to be. And it turned out that there were uh, more posts than what they, what they said to the high court. There were 11 posts which had to be filled. Um, and the court directed them to do so. Um, another twist which happened along the way is that, and again, this really goes to attitude. I think Delhi University genuinely believed that persons with disabilities, persons with hearing impairment, persons with visual impairment could not do the jobs well. And so they, I think, somewhere tried to, tried to frustrate the entire process. And one of the things they did was they would reserve, even after being told by the court to reserve 11 posts, they would reserve inappropriate posts. And then tell the court that well, there is nobody who is suitably qualified. And an example would be that um, uh, the post of librarian was reserved for blind persons, or persons with, with visual impairment. Now, person with, and the requirement for that was an MSc in library science. Persons with, with, with visual impairment do not usually go for that qualification because it does not have any career prospects for them. Because library uh, activities require a large visual component. And so the net result was that nobody applied for the job. And the, and the, and the, and the university said that, guess what, nobody is available, so let's let the reservation lapse. And then we opposed that. And we made them <coughs> re advertise a different post altogether. The net result is that the entire backlog of this case was filed in 2008. And by 2011, the entire backlog was completed by the, by the university. Um, employment. Uh Sorry, sir, we'll take questions later after both the pan panelists have uh, finished their presentations. Uh, employment ke cases, mein, job ke cases, there are three main cases. One uh, uh, important thing that Mani Ji has said is that when you go to the board, there is only one bench that uh, has PIL uh, ke cases for the Sunbai. So, when you go to the board, विक्रांता के इशू पे केस लेकर जाएंगे तो पहली बात उनको ज्यादा समझाना पड़ेगा फिर धीरे-धीरे जब उनके पास ऐसे केस आने लगेंगे तो उनकी भी समझ और सेंसिटिविटी इन मामलों में बढ़ जाएगी और फिर वो जल्दी-जल्दी जजमेंट और रिलीफ देंगे एक ऑल इंडिया ऑल इंडिया कंफेडरेशन ऑफ द ब्लाइंड एक संस्था है जो बहुत सारे केसेस फाइल करती है उन्होंने दिल्ली यूनिवर्सिटी में दिल्ली यूनिवर्सिटी में रेजर्वेशंस के लिए विकलांग लोगों के रेजर्वेशन के लिए एक तो रेलवे में और सॉरी रेलवेज में इंडियन रेलवेज में केस फाइल किया था और कोर्ट ने डायरेक्ट किया कि आपको वो पूरी पोस्ट फिल करनी पड़ेगी गवर्नमेंट ने आके उनसे ये कहा कि नहीं ये इंजीनियरिंग तो जब उनको दिखाया गया कि सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट में भी ये वाली पोस्ट्स जो है वो विकलांग लोगों के लिए रखी गई हैं तो विकलांग लोग इन पे काम कर सकते हैं तो ये समझने के बाद कोर्ट ने रेलवे को कहा कि नहीं आपको ये पोस्ट डिसेबल लोगों विकलांग लोगों के ही साथ भरनी पड़ेगी और मैंडेटरी करके उनको भरवाया एक और केस था उसमें भी सिक्सटी फोर पोस्ट एडवर्टाइज हुई थी और फोर्टी थ्री ये केस हमने भी पहले भी डिस्कस किया था और फिर एक दिल्ली यूनिवर्सिटी का केस है संभावना ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का इसमें भी कई सारी पोस्ट थी जिनको भरना था तो इसमें जैसे सर ने कहा कि उन्होंने क्या किया कि जैसे जिनको नजर ना आने की विकलांगता है उनको बोला कि लाइब्रेरी 
के काम के लिए आपको पोस्ट दे दी गई है तो उसमें किसी ने अप्लाई नहीं किया क्योंकि कोई भी जो ब्लाइंड आदमी होता है वो वो वाला काम करता ही नहीं है तो फिर ये लोग कोर्ट के पास गए और उनका कि नहीं ऐसी पोस्ट आपको उनको देनी चाहिए जो वो परफॉर्म कर सके जो वो कर सके वो वाली पोस्ट आपको उनके लिए आइडेंटिफाई करनी चाहिए तो कोर्ट ने वो डायरेक्शन इश्यू किया In, in, in the field of education, there was one case where Delhi High Court uh, required the government of Delhi to print all school textbooks uh, for blind students in Braille from class one to twelve, free of cost. And this is one one case which really ought to be implemented in other parts of the country as well because uh, provision of Braille textbooks is so important. Um, in the case of the disabled rights group, uh, there was a sixteen-year-old uh, uh, wheelchair. Dependent girl who was not given uh, facilities such as uh, modifications in the hostel, you know, uh, widening the uh, doorway in the hostel bathroom, getting a single room, etc., because she was wheelchair dependent. And we filed a case in the Supreme Court uh, as a result of which um, the Bar Council of India has issued regulations to all colleges in the country requiring accessibility uh, in higher education and law. In the uh, following case uh, of Mohammad Shah Afzal, the issue there was that uh, when the Medical Council of India for MBBS courses uh, gets uh, provides a 10% relaxation in qualifying marks from 50 to 40 for the SCST OBC categories, why do they not provide the same relaxation for the disability category, particularly when the, the seats reserved for disabled persons in MBBS courses are going vacant for the most part? Um, there, unfortunately, the MCI agreed in the court to provide 5% uh, for some reason best known to them and the court uh, did not find any ground in law to disagree. So we got the 5% but we did not get the whole 10% and I think this is where, this is an example of a case where the idea of reasonable accommodation is well understood. Then the court would understand that if you're giving a relaxation to one backward or disadvantaged community, the same relaxation can apply to the other community particularly when the seats reserved for them are not in fact being used. And Dr. Kumar Saurabh's case in the Supreme Court was on a similar lines, but for postgraduate medical education. Uh, employment ke char case uh, so basically a important case jo hai, wo reasonable accommodation pe. So isme, uh, ek individual ke bhi cases hai, ki ladki thi, usko ko uh, उसको uh, hostel में uh, रहने के लिए accommodation के लिए और दूसरे पे uh, education में exam में relaxation के लिए uh, एक तो किताबें braille braille में किताबें देने के लिए first से tenth class तक पूरे schools में uh, ये all India Confederation of the Blind versus Government of Delhi का case था फिर एक uh, medical course का entrance exam है उसमें uh, दलित वगैरह को S T S C को पांच uh, percent uh, 10% reservation hai, uh, but 10% reduction, relaxation, relaxation hai marks mein. Baki sab logon ke liye 50% hai, unko 40% hai, 